Hey everybody, Brett from Astartes Gaming here, back with the first episode in what's going to be a new Let's Play of Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. I did a first look video and you guys seem to really enjoy the game, so we are going to continue with it for a little while. And I'm actually going to be picking up where we left off, more or less, at the end of that video. Rather than starting again from scratch and having to grind through that initial part of the game and avoid combat and stuff, I feel like it would be more interesting for everybody if we just keep what we currently have. We're about five, almost six days into the game, so not... Not incredibly deep at all. Just about 20 guys, most of which are mil militia, um, a couple of elite troops to help protect us, and some decent gear for ourselves. Stuff that will allow us to kind of dive right into things rather than having to run around for a while and build up to this. So this should, you know, again, let us keep things a little bit more interesting because we'll be able to actually pick on or pick up some moderate-sized fights. Pretty quickly here, rather than having to spend the first couple of episodes avoiding combat until we can build up a party. So just as a recap, in case you missed that video, but I do um, highly recommend you go back and watch it if you haven't already. We have 19 people, five of which are our elite bodyguards, four of those are armed bodyguards that um, have been with me probably the longest. These three we started with, so they were my starting party. <clears throat> I've re-equipped them quite a bit differently from what they originally looked like. But they're our original three characters, and they're level six now. They're equipped with AKMs, so they've got pretty decent firepower. Decent protection, their armor's got 45. Um, 23 on the helmet. By the way, since we played last, the game has been updated, and camouflage is a thing now. So camouflage clothing was always there, but... Camouflage ratings are now a thing, so you can see that our armed bodyguards here have a 31 for jungle and a 23 for night. Now, uh, as we'll see with later, you know, characters, these seem like fairly low camouflage values, and I don't know if that's because we're just wearing a bad camouflage pattern, or if maybe it's because our vests and our masks aren't camouflaged. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like 31 is a bit low. Because, for example, like her, whoops, I didn't mean to click her, um, she's just wearing like dark, a dark shirt, dark vest, and dark jeans, and she's got a 25 for her night camo. So, I would think that somebody in actual camouflage would have better than a 31, but I guess not. Anyways, um, I've got the four armed bodyguards here, one of which still needs a camouflage shirt, um, and then this Posna fighter, who's in like some desert gear. Which, again, full desert, without the vest and the headgear, I suppose, and that's a 30, so... I don't know. We'll see if we can do better. But we've got that squad with the automatic rifles, and then two militia squads, armed predominantly with Mark 14s. Mark 14s, if you remember the earlier video, are one of my favorite weapons in this game. I'm a big fan of the Mark 14 in general. But in this game, it is the cheapest rifle that you can get your hands on. Um, it's also the standard issue firearm for militia free, uh, mil no, not militia freemen, militia riflemen, who are one of the better, more cost-effective uh, sort of soldiers that you can pick up for yourself. So I've got a lot of them, and by extension, a lot of Mark 14s in this army. But that allows me to sit back and sort of fight defensively, shoot at enemies at a greater range than they would be able to engage us at. So that works out pretty well for us. Now, granted, if we could get them sights on their guns, we'd be able to do that even more so. But as it happens, or as it is now, this is at least a very cheap but effective army that we can field. So the squad leader does have an automatic weapon, but otherwise this is all Mark 14s. They've all got decent body armor, though, in the realm of, you know, 30 to 25 to 30-ish protection. Um, most of them have helmets, but not all of them. We'll try to get everybody in a helmet, too, just so that they're less likely to die. And then for the second squad, it's more or less the same. We do have a couple of better marksman rifles here, like the VT-14. And then, of course, this lone militia sniper with his SKKS, which is an actual marksman rifle. The Mark 14 is more of a, a battle rifle, but these days use more in modern variants as a marksman rifle. We're using it as a marksman rifle, kind of, but anyways, that's all besides the point. That is our current party at the moment. Um, we have no prisoners, no current quests other than the general, you know, free the country quest, which is sort of like the end game goal. 
And, of course, the one companion character, Miroslava, who is uh, currently spec mostly into medical and financial. She started spec that way. I've just kind of continued to roll into it. And we'll see how that works out for us. But she's leading that uh, militia squad, as we just saw a moment ago. Um, for my actual character, here he is. Um, he was just named Stanislav. This is the same character, again, from the, the first look video, so nothing has changed. Other than I bought myself a 1911. Though, I was not paying attention and just assumed that a 1911 was going to be 45 caliber. So, I was mistaken, apparently, because this takes 9mm. And I need to get rid of this 45 ACP ammo because we won't be able to use it for that gun. So let's take these 9mm magazines from our TT-56, which... Where did that ammo come from? Maybe it was a different... It was probably like a Makarov or something that we had. Yeah, I think I actually did have a Makarov equipped and that's probably where that ammo was from. But anyways, this should be a 45. I, I think you can get them chambered in 9mm, but generally a 1911 is 45. Colt 45. That's, you know, where the kind of name comes from. Anyways, here's my gear. Uh, I don't really have camouflage at all. My pants give a little bit of desert, but that's it. I think the vest gives some um, desert too, yeah. But the vest is quite protective, the helmet is okay, and we desperately need more ammo. So, that's our current situation. I have a lot of money to work with. 28,000 to be specific, and... Faction money is new. That wasn't here last time, so I'm not sure what we can use that for, but we'll certainly try to find out. The game does get patched very often, though, as we'll see. So it's good to know that the, the developers are still very active with their game. It is, of course, early access, so uh, they should be. But too many early access games go too long without updates or significant improvement, and that really hurts their development, I think, and their player base because it falls off before the game finishes, and then the game just kind of... Wallows in obscurity, so hopefully that's not the case with this one. Since we're right outside of town, let's jump in here and see if we can do anything with this newfound cash. I, again, don't know what I can use faction money for, and there's no tooltip to explain it. But we could invest in some stuff. I could buy a tactical scope. That seems a bit premature, though, because those are very expensive. And so until we're doing quests where we can earn that kind of money regularly I don't think it would be wise to buy something like that and basically have our money for what's ultimately not going to amount to much in terms of actual combat effectiveness let's buy well first of all let's sell this 45 ACP ammo because we can't use it we'll buy at least one more 9 millimeter magazine because I have one more pistol ammo slot and I would love to um, I'm going to try to give everybody a first aid kit, so rather than using those up, let's buy some more. And I wouldn't mind a couple of frag grenades either. Where is this? Oh right, it's not going to spend it yet because we have to say deal first. I was thinking of like warband trading where it happens immediately, but let's buy those. Smoke grenades are interesting too. I guess I'll get one for myself and we can kind of play with it. Um, I don't think I need any other ammo, so we'll leave it at that. It's going to be about 2,000, but that's okay. We've got like 26. It came out of our regular money and not our faction money, so... I guess we can't spend that faction money here. But okay, good to know. Um, at the merchant, I'm probably not going to bother with any of this stuff. We're a little bit beyond that point, really. Uh, we were already in there, so is there any camouflage I could get? Not really. They've got a desert shirt and some desert pants. I guess. Let's buy the desert uniforms. Because they're the clothes in this game are really cheap. So we can make use of that potentially. And I think that's good enough. For now, there's not really this is the armor I'm wearing, it's really good, but I don't know who we would give that to. So I don't think I'll bother. We could get a jungle camo vest, which would be an improvement for our um, bodyguards, but the protection would be the same, so it would just be giving them a little bit better camo. And I think we need to choose one particular type of camo. If we have everybody in different stuff, uh, it's going to be suboptimal. 
Though if we're not always fighting in that one terrain, it's going to be suboptimal as well. There's really no winning in that regard, unless we have just multiple uniforms to choose from. So, we can talk to the bartender. Um, there's really nothing to do there. I don't have any prisoners to sell. They want me to eliminate five groups of bandits. That's going to be hard to do. That's like one a day for five days, but we can try it. Capture two units of bandits. Hmm. Could try that. Though I don't know how specific this is, if it needs to be a particular kind of bandit or just bandit in general. And they want 10 bread. That's not paying very much. I think I'll pass. Let's accept these because we'll probably complete one in trying to complete the other. So we'll take both of those and then can I give you a gift? Not yet. But as soon as we can give her a gift, We'll get another plus three and we'll be able to recruit her as a medic. So we'll try to do that. We'll try to stay on it. Now then, we've got all these looter camps. I'm not super keen on destroying them. Though that one wouldn't be too difficult. It actually looks like they've made the game easier. That's interesting. So when I was playing last time, uh, when, when I recorded that last video, these looter camps had armored marauders in them which were very heavily armored bandits that took like five or six shots to kill they apparently have been removed and these looter camps now just have like low level stuff in them that one's got a lot of people in it actually but this one we could probably take that's 20 so they only outnumber us by one and we'll probably be better equipped than most of those enemy types excuse me so maybe we'll go take out this looter camp. I just don't want to wipe them all out because they're spawning the enemy parties that we can use to level up. And if I clear them all out, then we'll have to go find other sources of, you know, experience. So I say, let's go deal with this one. This is the easiest. And we can consider doing that one soon. But I'll probably leave at least one, if not maybe two, just so we have something to, you know, spawn more enemies for us. Um, if you play the game and are very familiar with it, I'm happy to accept tips. I am still learning the game, though I have played it a little bit. Who are you? Some looters. Let's fight these guys first. Though I'm loath to fight at night time. Unfortunately, the time passage is very, very slow. Hold on. Hold a moment here. We got news. So yesterday's report, um, we didn't make any profit. But that's just because we spent a bunch of money. Um, every city had volunteers, veterans, and mercenaries who wanted to join the army. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Group of bandits were setting up camps. They've captured many innocent people. Uh, I don't know where that is. And I don't know that we'd be able to do much about it. Why does that say Al or AI? That also says AI. Weird. I don't know why those say that, but I don't know where that settlement is, and I'm guessing it's probably really far because I don't recognize the name. They wanted a bread delivery. I'm glad I didn't accept that one. Maybe it's a small village. Oh, it's right here. It's probably the mountain bandits harassing them. We can maybe look at that in the future. But for right now, I'd like to stay in this area. Because that's a lot of travel. So there's a ton of looters out here. I don't think they're going to count, though, because there's no bandits in that group. Hmm. I don't want to fight multiple. Come on, somebody cooperate here. You're all trying to escape. They're not. Okay. Let's fight them. Oh, no. Uh, two of them joined, unfortunately. Oh, well. So unfortunately, unlike in Warband, for example, even though we initiated this fight, we couldn't back out of it after seeing the reinforcements. Though, if I get wounded, we will have the opportunity to leave the battle rather than continue it. But yeah, unfortunately, you cannot back out of a battle once you've initiated it, even if you were the initiator, at least until after you've been hit. So I think our best move here is to immediately try to push up to what looks like a bit of high ground here. So I'm going to take the bodyguard and ask them 
well, first of all, we'll deploy as far forward as this is going to allow. As long as that circle is still touching the blue oval, we're okay. I want you guys to make a dash for that spot. That looks like it's a slope. If we can get there before the enemy, that'll be a nice position to fire from. This group is going to try to claim that hill there. And then this group, I think, is going to run along this hill line here. And try to maybe get a little bit of flanking fire. So if the enemy pushes this way straight at us, these two should halt them and make them take cover. And that one will be able to fire from the flank. If we're lucky. I'm in position. Unfortunately, yes, we are fighting at night. And one thing I'm going to do as well, just so I can get my bearings, is I like to double right click to give myself a waypoint where the enemy is. So I know like I should be probably facing that way most of the time. It also just makes it easier because I have a reference point from the map now. I don't have to like try to remember where the hell they're coming from. So one cool thing about reinforcements in this is unlike in Warband or Mountain Blade in general, uh, you guys are coming up this hill, right? Yeah, that, that's what I was hoping. Okay, perfect. Unlike in Warband or Mountain Blade or any of the copycats, uh, reinforcements don't come on the field immediately. So if this had been, you know, Mountain Blade... Oh, hello. I almost ran right on top of him. Um, there's a raider down. Okay. Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Taking a lot of fire here. You guys need to continue moving up. I didn't... Remember to equip my frag grenade, so unfortunately I can't lob one of them. Let's pull back, since I'm taking a lot of hits. Or taking any hits for that matter. We've got them in a good spot. They're sort of in the middle of this valley, with us up on these hills firing down into it, which is obviously an ideal situation for us. Though I would have preferred if we had a little bit more time to get in position. Moving right in the crosshairs, only one of those shots. Hit. We're doing good though. I haven't seen any of our people get hit yet, and a lot of theirs are down. We still have about a minute before the reinforcements come on. So if we can wipe all of these guys out, we'll have dealt with one entire party before the other one the battle. Point. I don't know if we'll get them all though. There's a lot of them left. And because we're fighting at such a range, a lot of our shots are not rolling. Now, granted, that's good for us as well because a lot of their shots aren't rolling. But time is more on their side than a lot. Did I see movement over there? That mark oh, somebody ran up right there. Got it. I couldn't see him, but I saw the marker and I wasn't sure what that meant. Are you moving? Ah, I see a muzzle flash. Oh, somebody's running and shooting over here. There's too many gunshots happening in the area. Okay, so the reinforcements just came on. I just domed the raider over there. Um, I'm gonna need to buy more ammo. I'm running really low, so after this fight, we we'll probably have to visit a town where we can find some. I keep seeing movement out of the corner of my eye, but it's just bullets and packing. There's another one down. Okay, so you guys need to move back and then up. I want them on this hill. I don't want them fighting from a weird angle there. That should give them more cover and a better angle to shoot from. Okay, hit something. With all the shots over there, it's really hard to tell like what's a person and what's just a bullet hitting the ground. That guy's still moving though. I'm sure you're probably not going to be able to see any of this once YouTube gets its hands on it. That good old compression algorithm is going to turn this to... Well, it's basically going to look like somebody smeared Vaseline on the screen, probably. But I am recording this in... HD at 60 frames. Oh, I see movement. Gotcha. At a fairly high bitrate. 
but that probably won't uh, mean much again once YouTube compresses it. So I do apologize for that. But just know I'm basically just shooting at pixels too, so I don't see much more than you guys do. It's probably just a little bit more, more well defined. Oh, there's movement on the hill. I wonder if they're retreating. I see a lot of stragglers running around. But they don't seem to be moving toward us so much as just moving in general. Okay, well, enemy locations are revealed. Let's take you guys. Move up just a little bit. You're going to hold the middle for us. Move up to there. We'll take this group and have them move over and then down, I think. Oh, wait. No, no, no. We're being flanked. I need you to engage this way. Though it does look like they're running away. But still, we can't afford to let them get around us. Go ahead and pursue them. You should outnumber them pretty substantially, and I will actually go with this group just to make sure. Because that's basically just mop-up duty down there. But we don't know what size group this is. It could be a fully intact squad if they've managed to avoid us so far. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, yes I am. I completely missed that. This gun does kind of fail at closer ranges. Okay, so the enemies are fleeing. I'll get my 1911 out just in case. Okay, I think it's clear, so let's send our squads after anything, everything and anything that we can find. Um, I don't know if you guys are in a great spot to deal with that. Let's have you push up. And I'm going to ask you guys to... Okay, you're engaging now. Perfect. Let's get you marching down there then to help out. And I will run with you. But I think this fight's pretty much over. We're able to very effectively deal with the first wave of enemies before the second one came on. And that's really what made the difference. Had we not been able to, just the sheer volume of fire they would have been able to put out with nearly 40 people, compared to our 20, would have probably caused a couple casualties. But because we kept the fights fairly even and were able to use range to our advantage, we were able to kill them with, so far, none of our own people falling, which is great. Alright, this is where they more or less spawn from. Ah. He didn't like that, apparently. I'm not seeing anything. Uh, somebody pop smoke over there. Probably them, because I don't think any of our people have smoke, though. I might try to change that. Yeah, I see gunshots coming from both directions there. I actually see the person. There's a couple people out there. There's one up on this hill here. They're firing automatic weapon. That's concerning, because they might actually land a couple of those hits. Down to my last mag here, more or less. 17 rounds. Let's try to get closer. So that I can actually see what I'm shooting at. And, oh. They see me. So you guys. I need you to start moving this way. I need you to shift that way to engage as well. You guys need to clear your waypoint and come this way. Cut them off, hopefully. Okay, so they are apparently routing. I think I see someone up there, but I don't know, and they're not moving, so I'm assuming if it is a person, it's probably a dead one. Let's crest this hill. Is it clear to me? Another looter just dropped by one of our bodyguards. Great. Not seeing anything down there. Yeah, not seeing much of... Oh, hello. There we go. We're victorious. So 26 enemy kills. No deaths. That does mean that some of them got away. But that's fine. Uh, lots of loot. Fantastic. We'll take anything we can carry. Which wasn't much, apparently. Um, but a lot of guns... So that's cool. Um, I'll just see if I can make use of that. 
I actually want this ammo, so anything I have to drop to carry that ammo, let's drop it, because that is ammo I can use myself. Um, anything else? 357 Magnum ammo, but I am not using one of those, nor is anybody else in the party for that matter. This gun uses it, but nobody's using one of those guns. So, maybe we'll just leave it at that? We got the valuable stuff anyways, we can take one more thing, which apparently the most valuable is going to be a tent. I think I'd almost rather have a black mask I can equip on somebody or something. Okay. Uh, we got a looter. We'll take you prisoner. Sell you for uh, a little bit of ransom money or something like that. Probably more like a bounty in this case. Okay. Since Mern is right here, let's visit Mern. We'll unload as much as we can and again try to replenish some of our stuff but I meant to equip a lot of that oh we have a ton of level ups let's take care of everybody so that'll be a thousand which is really not much considering um, we have like 40 almost 43,000 now we'll level all you guys up and you three as well that's gonna be a little bit pricier because they're already already at a fairly high level so they're level seven now and that did cost me quite a bit but honestly I'm not concerned because we're still just spending money that we earned from that last fight. Did they add any new squad icons? Because I wasn't super happy with the ones we had before. It looks like they did, actually. Though, nothing that uh, necessarily reflects what these guys look like now. Bummer. Well, we can try to re-equip them more in line with some of this stuff, but... Honestly, it doesn't matter too much. They have the Pazna fighter there. That guy's pretty tactical looking. Uh, but that's fine. Yeah, I think we're okay. So, I had a bunch of grenades that I bought. I wanted to give myself, well, first of all, I want that magazine. And then these two as well, and I need to buy several more. So yeah, throw those in there. Uh, we'll probably sell all of this, but I wanted a grenade. Uh, I should take a med kit. Let's have two frags and a smoke grenade. That works for me. Then if we go to our parties, you guys should all have med kits at the very least. You don't. Okay, so let's give you one. And I'll give each one of them a grenade, too. Since this is, like, my assault force, they're potentially going to be in range to actually use them. Where the other squads shouldn't be, in theory, anyways. You, since you're the squad leader, can have the last grenade. And then I'll try to give every single person here a med kit. I don't know if they're even going to use them. But I have them, so we may as well equip them. Especially since uh, you don't really need to upkeep stuff on... You've got a smoke grenade. Okay, so we do actually have a smoke grenade equipped. But you don't have to upkeep stuff on your people. So if they use a grenade, they still have the grenade. I think if I use grenades, I actually have to buy new ones. But we'll see. Okay, so Mern, let's sell some stuff. Maybe prisoners as well. Uh, we can potentially recruit two. Though I'm not sure what I would want to recruit. Uh, oh, there's a new companion here. So, Yevjin? Something like that? How may I help you? Um, talking to them will give you relation points for free, so it's always wise to talk to them whenever you can. So, I was born in Kvasiv Village. There is a large amount of iron ore around my hometown, which has become a key target of warlords in wartime. My father formed a self-defense force to defend his hometown from intrusion. I fought with him when I was 18 with a gun, but then our troops were surrounded by the Otov Confederation and disarmed. They occupied our mine. I later led the peasants to fight back many times without success. Well, at least they were nice enough not to execute you guys. Um, will you join me? I've been hoping to pick up my gun again and fight for our freedom. My home no longer exists, but the country has not yet perished. I still have the opportunity to let those mischievous predators taste the blood of revenge. However, not everyone can win my loyalty. I will never follow an evil villain. Can you prove yourself? 
Yeah, I, I think we'll play this fairly honorably. We are called the Free Men, after all, so we're supposed to be, like, freedom fighters. Um, he doesn't care about relations, he just wants money. So for 5,000 Zoltis, he'll join us? That's nothing, considering. So I'll do that. And... He has a shotgun, which is something we'll probably have to replace. But I'm happy to have a new character aboard. Uh, we can sell our looter for, it looks like, just over 11... Sorry, just over 1,100, I guess. I was going to say 11,000, but that would not have been accurate. And let's go to the marketplace now. They've got some cool stuff here, actually. Some even heavier vests than the one I have, and some Marauder helmets. Awesome. Okay, uh, we'll consider a lot of that stuff, actually. Mac? It looks like a Mac 10. It should have some number, though. Mac 11s are more modern, but, uh... Anyways, it should have some indication as to what model it is. Uh, Makarov... I might keep those. Let's get rid of that, though. Actually, I'll keep one Makarov. I don't need that many. And probably don't need that many Mark 14s, either. We also have, what, camo pants, some clothing and stuff we'll have to sort out. Oh, I forgot I bought, like, desert uniforms. We'll have to try to use those. But that does free up some space, at least. So, these combat helmets are actually pretty good. Especially for the price. I'm gonna buy a Armor 3 khaki for our new companion. This is the one I'm wearing. And I could give him a new helmet too, but I'm not sure which one. So let's let's see about his gear first. So we'll go to party. He's not in a squad yet, so we'll have to fix that. I'll actually have to put him in one before I can do anything. Let's put him in the bodyguards for now. Okay. Let's see. So I'm going to give you... Oh, right. You're not high enough level about that okay in that case I'll give him this light black vest because that's the best protection I can give him at his current skill level we can however give him a proper uniform if we want so I'm gonna give him that desert shirt and these desert pants what do I have uh, I've got the black mask and I'll give you a Makarov as well as a Mark 14. We'll sell that shotgun because it's more valuable than it is useful. And you know what? I'm gonna move some stuff around. You're gonna go over there. You're gonna go here. I'll make you the leader of my bodyguards. But I will need to get you a better weapon. Also a helmet. So let's check this. Your armor proficiency is 43. So I actually could have equipped him with better gear had I just looked, because I think 47 is what we need for that vest, but he's at 43. So I can give him a better vest, just not the one I actually bought. I should have obviously checked first. Um, I can give him this hood, but that's not really going to offer a whole lot of protection. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself this desert gear. Okay. What is this? Desert camo? I might just mix and match. I don't know that I care that much. Let's go back to Mern. These combat helmets need 25. The Marauder needs 30. I am tempted to buy those, though. And the Battle Vest needs 35. I think we'll just wait until his next level up, because he should be able to wear his new one that we bought him. Um, these old pants can all get sold. Let's look at that tank top for that matter. And honestly, I think these flak vests are a downgrade from anything we have, so let's just sell them all. I will buy these two Marauder helmets, I think. Because that's some of the best protection you can get, although the tactical Kevlar helmets are better. Um, we've got more desert military clothes. I'm trying to decide, like, what camouflage I want to give these guys. Maybe we should do jungle. Jungle might be more useful. 
So I'm gonna buy some jungle combat pants since they're pretty cheap. Is there any other jungle stuff? Just these hats, which I don't really care about, if I'm being honest. Um, ski mask, those are kind of cool looking. They do offer protection, which I don't think the... the scarf does. So maybe I should get those, like these. Oh, the skull masks have protection. I don't know if the one we just put on him does, though. Let's buy one just in case. Or we'll buy two, what the hell. And that might be it. I wish they had more uh, camouflage clothing, but they don't. Okay, so back to party. You get this helmet. And it looks like that clips. Oh, so this actually does have armor. Armor 5. Oh, it's actually better. What the hell? Whatever. I'll give him that because it looks cooler. And I guess I will give myself one of those helmets too. Because that is an upgrade for me. You can keep that on. I wish we could get like gloves. And I think we'll go jungle camo. Let's see. Armor 9. Yeah, it's essentially the same. I think we'll do jungle. I'm willing to bet that jungle is more prevalent terrain than desert around here anyways. I still need ammo, though. Still need ammo. So, Mern, do you have 762 ammo? They have an AKM. We could maybe give him some better gear. So one, two, three, four. Let's go five, six, seven, eight. Do I want to buy him a better gun? That's actually not unreasonably priced. I think I'll do it. Hopefully he can use it. If not, we'll just hold on to it until he can. And I'm going to buy this tactical scope since uh, I'll still be basically at what we started the episode with. Okay. I apologize for all the party management stuff, but we did just come into a lot of money and a new companion, so I'm trying to you know, allocate this stuff. Right, so you are going to get a better gun. Oh, you can't use it yet. Okay, stick to your Mark 14 for the time being, and when you level up, we'll give it to you. And I guess I'll see if my Mark 14 can take that scope. It doesn't look like it can, but maybe I'm not doing it right. Did we not buy it? Did I forget to hit deal? God damn it. I don't think I bought it. Ooh, that's a cool gun. So maybe he can use it, I just didn't actually purchase it. AKM, and I wanted all this ammo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that's a lot more money than I thought it was. Whoa, what's going on with my mouse? Weird, my mouse sensitivity just dropped off there. So the AK-12... Really? I'm, I'm so confused what's happening here. It's acting like I bought this. Okay, there we go. 46 for the AKM. The AK-12 is only a little bit more. So let's do that. And then I will say deal. That's going to be a lot of money, but I think it will be worth it. Also, we'll sell that Remington while we're here. And that old helmet will go on a companion. That can get sold. I'll sell the desert stuff. Sell that. Um, that's probably fine. Okay, so 15,000 left. And hopefully that actually worked. Um, you don't have a helmet. She's a companion, so I'm trying to keep her face visible, just so it's obvious that she's a companion. But I guess I didn't do that here, though he is a little bit more decked out than these others. He's also more of a fighter than she is. 
I meant to give you a pistol, so there you go. And now that we actually purchased the gun, can you use it? You can, great. I gave that to a militia rifleman, fantastic. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Why is this being so difficult? Okay, I think you're fine. Now that you're selected, you have your Makarov. Can you equip this? You can, great. Um, can I now equip that sight? Again, I think I might need to do this. Okay, I can equip it. Great. So we'll do that. And we'll try to get him a sight down the line too, but since I actually have to use physical eyes, I think this will be beneficial. Okay, so sorry for that delay. Let's head back into enemy territory. Well, not really enemy territory, but um, looter territory. And if there's no parties immediately around this camp, which it looks like there actually is one. By the way, okay, so still zero. These are not counting. It has to be actual bandits, can't be looters. They're going to outpace us, so let's just head to this camp. And there are some bandits there, so we might be able to at least get our two prisoners out of this. Okay, looter camp. This should be pretty straightforward, though it might be better to wait until daytime. I'm not sure. Uh, let's just attack. Oh, this is a group of like two. I'm going to extort some money out of them. Because I don't feel like fighting those two right now. I'm going to let them run away. I wanted to attack the camp. Alright, 20 of us against... Oh, it looks like those two are going to reinforce. Whatever, that's fine. 20 on 20, we can handle that. So, they're going to be deploying over here with the re two reinforcements coming in this way. This is sort of the camp area. We're over here. It looks like this is pretty flat terrain. It's hard to say for sure. But I think we're going to have to just march straight in there. So, I am going to have the bodyguards take point. We'll march them more or less straight in, trying to get some cover on the buildings. The other squads are going to come in at sort of angles. Like such. Let me see how that goes. Alright. Ooh, look at that. That'll be helpful. What if I can get up there? I'm a bit interested in trying, actually. It looks like there is quite a bit of cover in here, though, at least. Can I use this tower? Nope. Unless there's an rat key I don't know about. Okay, I'm going to move up to these boxes. Or actually, they look like barriers. Yeah, they have barriers. Uh, I'm taking fire. You guys don't seem to be returning fire, so I don't think you've seen them yet. But I can see really well now. There might be too much zoom, actually. Especially with my mouse sensitivity where it is. I think somewhere... I think this was, what, 4x? So maybe like a 2x would probably be more ideal. But this is letting me snipe pretty effectively, which is the best way for me to go about things because I need to be live to command. So I can't just go charging in. They are really trying to hit me though. But still guys. Damn it. I swear I'm hitting this guy. There we go. The bullets look like they were going right through him, but with the kick it's hard to follow it. I see you. God, I need to turn my mouse sensitivity down. It's so squirrely. Okay, I need to pull back. Um, I'm not sure how to use a med kit. I need to look at the commands for that. I'm gonna quickly turn that down a little bit. That's slightly better. Um, you're shooting at me. No, it's not. I don't think it did anything. Well, I killed him anyways. All right. We haven't quite finished reaching our movement points yet, so let's issue the next one, which should be pretty much just mopping up, I think. Join my bodyguards here. Get my pistol out. 
You guys don't seem to be moving. I told you to move. Why are you not moving? Okay, there they go. They're gonna take some heat because I think they're gonna be in view of both of those groups, but what we'll do is we'll have this group kind of come downhill on them, and I'm actually going to have you guys move in a little bit more of an angle so that you're gonna be a little bit more of the focal point of this charge, right? Shots coming from the hill, which is our people, so they must see the enemy. There's some sandbags there that might be a good spot to set up for me. There's our companion. Oh yeah, they're way out there. Well, time to use a good old scope. That hit, but it probably shouldn't have. It felt like it wasn't a target. But yeah, I need to either get a scope with a little bit less zoom or adjust the deep guy on my mouse so that um, it's not so scary. It's really hard to get it where it wants to go. Like that. I didn't move my mouse that hard. But yeah, this is way too sensitive to this amount of magnification. Cool. Without a single casualty of our own. Fantastic. Hopefully we got some prisoners there, and hopefully those are prisoners that we want. But that did give us almost 12,000 new credits. Let's see. Um, take everything of value. Rather than some of this crap, though, I'd like to have like ammunition I can use. I think that's good. So, no prisoners there, which is a real bummer because we needed two bandits and we got zero. But we did get a bunch more loot. So, maybe we can go to Zinkoff and sell it. And that might be how we end today's episode. It's actually been a little bit too long of an episode, but that's okay. It is episode one, effectively. Okay, Zinkov, here we go go into the marketplace and we'll just unload all of the random loot stuff that we have on the merchant so all of this crap can go and then let's go to the weapon merchant see what they have um, ooh a scar l it looks like they've decreased the price on a lot of these guns as well because this is a lot more reasonable than i think most of the prices were before um, regardless, we're going to unload some of this. I don't need this many Mark 14s either. I'd like to keep about four. Even that's probably excessive, but that's just me kind of future-proofing in case I need to equip anybody. Oh, I forgot to sell those cigarettes and wire cutters. Whoops. This is all food that we can eat, but it's probably more food than we need, so I'll see about maybe unloading some of that too. This camo is not jungle camo, though it does have some jungle camo rating, so I'm going to sell it. That scout vest can probably go, and in fact this one probably can too. Because most of the armor that we're wearing, I think everybody's wearing armor better than this, so there's no reason to have it. I really want one of those M16s. I can afford it, but I don't have the skills for it. So I'll wait. Um, let's make that deal, and then I'll check the armor trader here. Ooh, armor 2 black, which I think is the same as the armor we're wearing, just in a different color. Uh, we've got green combat pants. But I'm looking for jungle camo. That's forest. Is that the same one? I don't remember now. Jungle. Okay, so no, forest is different. But it still gives jungle camo. I wonder what it looks like. Um, they don't have any shirts for it, though. That's kind of annoying. Kind of really annoying. Alright, we'll make that deal. Let's see what this camouflage looks like. Oh, I can't, can't leave yet. Uh, bar. Nobody here. Any missions, though? Their village needs lighters. I don't know that... That's not a lot of money. They want me to deliver files to Zalaniv. I feel like Zalaniv is close by. Maybe that's why it's so cheap. We might do that just for the goodwill. Please find Mountain Bandits, hide out, and destroy it. Then go back to Zinkov and get your reward. Which Mountain Bandits? Because I destroyed one already. Please find Looter Camp and destroy for an extra 10,000. Well, we were going to do that anyways. So we have basically a day and a half to do that. Uh, we can just destroy the second Looter Camp that we were discussing, the one that we were kind of hanging out by earlier. So let's grab that. Not going to do this. Um, yeah, I don't see a point. 
not worth it to me. I'd rather just keep them if I'm going to train them up that far. Mandi uh, Mountain Bandit Hideout. I know where one is, but it's going to be far away. We have 56 hours. We can do it. I'll grab it. Okay. That's that. Let's see about this camouflage. If it's worth making it like our default uniform. Ooh, I kind of do like that. That is, it reminds me of like, um, Woodland Marpat. This almost looks like ACU, or what is it, like UCP, is what the actual thing, the actual camouflage is called. It kind of reminds me of like a little bit greener UCP camo. But that looks like Desert Marpat, which is pretty cool. Or sorry, um, Woodland Marpat. Uh, we could do that. We could make our guys look like U.S. Marines or something. I'm down for that. So yeah, I think we'll grab any of this forest combat stuff we can find. We'll sell the jungle stuff. Which means we do want to grab the other pants that were in here. And you can go. So this is green, green, green. Wrong one. There's a lot of different camouflages in here, which is nice. But it's hard to find sets of any of them, which is a little bit annoying. But I think this will be a good sort of all-purpose camo for us. These military battle vests are actually pretty good, but I don't see a point. I'd rather just go straight to these better armors here. That's actually better than mine. I thought it would be the same, just different color, but it's not. Okay. Well, that is sufficient for now. And I'll just try to keep collecting more of that camouflage. So let's see, party. Oh, we got some level ups, nice. I'll spend my money to do that. I need to actually click on you to upgrade you. That gets him to marksmanship eight, and it also increased his armor proficiency high enough that he can finally wear. Did I not buy that vest, or like, what happened? I apparently didn't buy the vest I thought I did, which seems to be a running theme here. I didn't mean to do that, we'll just do it this way, and We'll do an all level up here, which took care of you as well. Her armor proficiency is up pretty high too, but since she's running with the marksman, I don't need to give her as good a gear. Since he's running with the assault squad, he does need better gear. Also, if I had a grenade, oops, sorry, wrong person. I should get him a grenade and a med kit, so I think your squad's going to have to sacrifice one if you have them. Uh, probably you. I don't have a frag though, so I'll have to go get one. Maybe a smoke grenade for him as well. Okay, so I found this red dot site. I'm actually going to buy that and maybe use it for myself because I was not in love with the ACOG that we got. There's also a hollow site. Let's get them both. I'm going to try out some different sites and that still leaves us with a pretty solid amount of money. So I'm going to swap out this one for that one which I don't think has any zoom we'll find out but typically red uh, standard red dots like this don't this hollow sight might have a little bit but probably not that does allow me to hand out some sights though I think the sniper here is going to get the ACOG can I give you a sight Maybe not. Supported attachments. Yeah, but how do I give it to you? I guess if you know, tell me. And I'll give him the ACOG site since he is our sniper. You, in the meantime, I would give you the hollow site if I knew how. But for now, I'll just experiment. And we'll keep trying to collect that um, woodland forest camo or whatever it's called. I guess you can have the other pants since you're already not in a matching uniform. So forest combat pants, there you go. And you know what, screw it, we'll give them to you as well. Right, so I'm going to leave it there, since this has already gone on long enough. Next episode, we'll deal with this looter camp. Actually, we didn't take this one out, apparently. Or do they just not despawn anymore? I don't know. Well, we'll go back and see if we can destroy this. The game is being a little bit weird today, though. If it will allow me, I'll attack this one again and get the quest for that. 
If not, we'll go here and do this one. Um, there's a mountain bandit hideout here that we can attack, but I'm wondering if it respawned the one I destroyed in here somewhere. So we might venture through these mountains again just to check. But we have plenty of stuff to do, so we should have uh, a pretty interesting episode lined up for us next time. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Freeman Guerrilla Warfare with you. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I know uh, the first look video I did got a very, very positive response and I had a lot of people asking for more, so that's, you know, what we're doing. Hopefully you guys enjoy this Let's Play as well, but uh, thank you again for watching and I look forward to seeing you back here for the next episode.